We're not like entertainers. You know, even though we people get entertained off us, you know what I mean? And we entertain people, but we're not entertainers. We're a band. Some of the songs on the album sort of go out there a little bit. It's a space. I think he brought some good sounds to it, Dave Sitter did. We've all got nipples, man. You know what I mean? It was going to be a bollock, so imagine what they'd have done with that. Yeah, I don't know. People are a bit uptight, aren't they? It's a beautiful shot, man. Beautiful colours. I mean, there's going to be people that don't like this record. There's going to be people that do like it, you know what I mean? You can't, you know. You don't go in there to make a record to gain or to lose anyone, you know what I mean? You go in there just to make a record that you feel right about at that time, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter if all our best tickets are sold And all the old stories are told And I... Start working on the tune, it was Liam's melody. We had, you know, the brass section kind of on the keyboards worked out. And then we had the idea of putting something like that to it. We deceived when our revolution has been finally stamped out. It's a, a political speech, but the point I think I got from it was just know what you're fighting for, think for yourself, and just don't blindly accept what um, you're led to believe is the truth about any wars, let alone sending your kids off. Not even wars, but anything. Anything, you know. The second bite of the apple just gives off, you know, gives it, just makes it colourful, doesn't it? You know what I mean? You can see things. Shake my tree, where's the apple for me? Take on my. The video is a bit cosmic, but you should have seen the first one, that wasn't cosmic at all. And the song just deserved a little bit of colour and light, you know. And we did that video on the blink of an eye. And regarding the apple, is it an apple? Sometimes you you know you get to it and you go yeah he's actually listening to a record and that's great but then you read some of you just you just you know they've not even listened to the record they just they've already made their mind up you know what I mean we like our album that's the most important thing and the gigs that we've been doing the last three gigs that we've done all the fans seem to like it you know what I mean they're singing all the words so it's the right we're going in the right direction you know what I mean some of them might have some spotty little Herbert from Hastings don't like it. Noel's a bit stubborn in the studio, you know what I mean? And a bit uptight. And that's not a dig, it's just, you know, Noel likes to... With, with Dave Sitek, we sort of just let him go, get on with it, you know what I mean? And we sort of stayed out of the way, whereas in, in Oasis, Noel thinks he's the producer, you know what I mean? He sort of gets in the way a bit, so I don't think that would have happened. Smile. You don't have midlife crises when you're in a rock and roll band, man. You have midlife crises when you're not in a rock and roll band. Listen, the day I take musical advice off Robbie Williams, mate, is the day I piss in my own mouth and then shoot myself in the dick. You know what I mean? Taking musical advice off a guy who writes candy? Don't think so. It seems to me like the entertainment and like someone, you know, coming down a ladder dressed as a clown is more important than real music, you know what I mean? And that seems to be winning. Idiocy over talent, you know what I mean? Or going on talent shows. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can call it lazy, you know what I mean? But it's an opportunity for them, you know what I mean? Fast track, speedy boarding, you know what I mean? <laughs>
I mean, I much prefer to get in a van and go around the country with the lads, you know what I mean, and play 